There we go. Red Massey. It's got a big yellow bucket on. Way more than I thought. I must have miscounted. Oops. What tractor did I go for? Which colour? It's got to be the New Orleans. Best tractor ever made. <laughs> got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning, Holly. What a beast. Big breakdown. It's a drill working there. Right, good morning. I am on my way to Glasgow to pick up those pigs that went away on the weekend there. And I need some egg boxes, which are these, so I can stamp, because there's delivery of eggs, which I meant to load into a van that was going down this morning for veg, and I forgot. So I need to take some. Right, pigs collected, eggs delivered. Give me a free punnet of uh, grapes, because came out of my way to get these eggs because, well, it was my fault, I forgot them, but anyway, thanks for the grapes. Right, home, and we've got a demo tractor arrived. I'll go and see what colour is it. Actually, you'll have seen in the thumbnail of the, of the video, it's red. Also, just had a phone call on my way back down the road from K Steelers. So they were in the other day, where they, they must have seen my demo tractors and whatnot. The deal's quite far away though, so not really want thinking we'll go down that route but it's worthwhile having a chat so he's going to come out tomorrow and we'll see what he's saying there we go red massey looks nice let's get the back end here four spools in the back end air brakes lights ice of us same as the rest of them a little bit similar this one doesn't have the air tank on the bank back most of them are mounted air tanks in here or here well, this one's not. I don't know where it's mounted, but there we go. I'm just getting my jacket out of the van because it's Baltic. Right, Jonathan's given us a spin round it, showing us all the things about it. Apparently, Clads and Massey share a factory, um, so quite a lot of bits are similar. And um, the likes of uh, the front suspension, well, it looks to me very similar. And um, what else? The gearbox is the same, and the other bits as well. But if it is the same gearbox and same front end and that's good because we like them on the class so hopefully it's much the same on that there's a red machine we've been out in it for a wee bit anyway there's a lorry just arrived uh, there was one lorry in when i was away and uh, kev got that loaded loaded so that's number two today hopefully there'll be another one later on tonight right just had a wee bit of paperwork to sign for that so i can get this lorry done there come on sitting waiting lorry's right behind me ready to go just sat down, put my fork into my lunch, and the lorry came down the road. Kev's washed the top window, which is quite nice. Can I actually see? Piles fair disappearing now. There'll definitely be one more load there, so we've got 11 out of a pile. We thought there was 10 in so far. Right, we're 15 buckets in. Three ton? No, oh, Jesus. Way more than I thought. I must have miscounted. Oops. Right, this is the last one now. I hope. Yeah, his passport. I'm just trying to make sure that last bit of grain gets lifted. Um, they were for just taking the 10 and not the 11th load and waiting until next year to get it, but their man managed to get them to come for one load anyway. They are hoping to leave it for the year till next year, till 2022, which isn't long, but um, we're needing that bay for the molten barley, so managed to get them to come for it. Don't know when, but soon, in the next day or two. And I'm not sure about it. there'll be a balance. They don't want that, but we can deal with that ourselves. Right, I've still got some cows to feed. Kev bedded them first thing uh, when I was away down to Glasgow, so I'm not needing bedded, and they're good for a monistro, so feed them all here. Need to nip on the road. Pigs need fed, Percy needs fed. Catch up on that. Um, I could do with a bit of a tidy up in here. One, because it needs to tidy up, and two, a bit of a guest coming. And the final lorry. Oh, I didn't even feed the flipping cows. Uh, the final lorry's coming at half three um, to get loaded and that'll be all the seed barley away there'll be a balance left over
They look good all lined up. Don't you? Hey. Hey, bitch. There's a few of them that came with a, a blue ear tag. I think this is Ruth. There's Geisha and there's Holly. Geisha's an interesting name. Right, pigs to sort out and flipping sheep are out again. Um, along here, the yard number two. Kev, I've not seen Kev in the Massey yet. Our special guest is also 50 minutes away. And then there's a lorry coming at half three. So, um, we're not gonna have time to see the Massey. <laughs> Pick one of the three. I have to load the lorry. Ollie's not passing often. I can see the Massey tomorrow. You can see them. The bet they're on, the majority of them are just on a piece of grass. Um, there's maybe like 20, 30 actually on wheat. The rest of that strips grass there. But also, can't get past because I've not cleared this tree yet. <laughs> I've just gone around in circles. <laughs> Honestly, sheep or something else. I'm not going to let my dog out because the sheep will end up miles in that direction. Oh, where are they going now? I need to get them up towards that tree. I don't know if it's good that they're going around there. Come on, just I'll up the fence line all the way up. They're going the right direction, but I've also figured out why they're going the right direction. Can't see them on but through that. Oh, you can't on the end of my finger there. The neighbour. And can you? There's a few logs in that tree that's coped. Sheep are back in. I need to get something done about that fence. Anyway, just heading back to the yard now, back home yard. Uh, lorry coming in 40 minutes. Um, all he's gonna be here in kind of 20, 20 minutes or so. So see him for a wee bit. I'll load the lorry in and then I'll go see him again. I'll get him. I think he'll come in for some food in the shop. So while he has his food, I'll go get that lorry loaded up. Silage wrap to get rid of, food waste to get rid of. That's full full, so I need to do that uh, tonight. And um, if I've got time, more I'll time tomorrow. Time tomorrow. Yeah, it's good. Always wanting to use the shed for all his classics. <laughs> right, the lorry's arrived, so Ollie's going to get a few videos. And I need to know how to spill it. I also look like a, a rookie. Well, he's getting a time lapse. He's impressed with my clamp and my mount. Need to get himself one. He's going to load this lorry. I do love the height of the shed, though, the way you can tip in the middle. Yeah. It's got a big yellow bucket on. Ready to load a grey wagon. Never seen a yellow bucket before. Not really black or green. The barley there, nice sample. JCB. Oh, the dog's too to see. So how many buckets it takes to do This guy's a professional, look, he's got a proper phone mount. Alright, does the job. I'm gonna put my phone on here, we'll time lapse. Ten pounds for that, and then probably five of them everything. I stand on them and break them. Don't stand on them. Right, you're away, Ollie. Should you buy? Is, is it recording the right way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's recording. I know what I'm doing. Record? I know what I'm doing. Like on the side there. No, it's fine. You've got the fancy new board. <laughs> what tractor do I go for? Which colour? It's got to be the Fent. The Fent? The Fent. Fent 724. Best tractor they ever made. <laughs> right, see ya. See you later. I've got that many brochures now. Fent, um, Class, Axion, and Arian brochures. John Deere 6R, like the the current series and the new 6R series and there's another one coming tomorrow not a demo and uh, someone coming to talk about a case but the dealer's quite far away so i'm not sure about that but worth while having a chat this is obviously ollie's pick that green machine they were not on the list anyway going into getting demos but they've kind of been forced onto the list anyone who's made it this far thank you very much for watching 
and anyone new kicking about um, after Ollie was here on the farm, uh, thanks for watching the videos as well. Cheers to Ollie for coming by. Knows a lot about farming. If if you don't already watch him, go and watch him. Loads of good ideas. Um, he's a pretty kind of off the cuff. If he's got an idea, he'll go and do it, which I like. Maybe sometime in the future I'll get down his way. He invited me in anytime, so cheers. Yes,